Balance sheets. Balance sheets are everything in your business. And all a balance sheet is, is assets minus liabilities equals your equity. And all we're really concerned about is your equity. We're trying to maximize that equity. At, that's what we're trying to do. So, in the example of the leveraged buyout, just to have an example of a balance sheet. Individual is asking 10K for his customers, and he's asking 10K for his goodwill. So he's asking $20,000 for the value of the business. So over here, we've got $20,000 value of the business. Liabilities are zero currently. Now we wanna go ahead and acquire the business for no money. Let me show you how we can do this with the balance sheet. We're gonna make a line here. We're gonna keep this super, super simple. We're going to add in the debt column. We're gonna add in the liability columns. We're gonna go borrow 10K. So personally to us, we owe someone $10,000. We took that from them and we gave it to this individual. Now, this individual then gave us a $20,000 asset. So over here, we've got $20,000 in assets and we've got $10,000 in equity. So essentially, we have just taken $10,000 in equity and put it into our personal equity column here. This is fantastic. We've got this $10,000 negative that we've got to get rid of. And he gave us $20,000 in value. $10,000 was the value of the client list, which is subjective. And another $10,000 was the value of the depreciated equipment, which was also kind of subjective, but more real and tangible. So what we're going to do is we're going to decrease assets. So we're gonna go ahead and decrease the assets by $10,000. We're going to liquidate those assets and we're gonna pay it off over here, which will essentially zero us out. So our assets are gonna go down to 10K. Our liabilities are going to zero out. And over here in our equity column, we now have 10K worth of new customers and boom, leverage buyout, folks, in the simplest term. That's how you do it. So you go out, you essentially use somebody else's assets. Now, let me, let me reiterate on the 10K that we borrowed from a buddy. We did that for operating capital needs. In theory, and this doesn't always work well, but in theory, you could have taken the business that you were purchasing and you could have worked some sort of extended payment deal to where you paid this guy his 10K in 60 days or 90 days. And that would have given you time to liquidate the equipment and pay off the down payment. And so now what we've done is we've gotten $10,000 in goodwill, $10,000 in new customers.